Yes, right now I am involved in two strategic partnerships. One of them is with, uh, because I collaborate with two entities. So with one of them uh, called Asociación Promesas, uh, we are making a strategic partnership since like uh, seven years ago, and they are all around educational games. And this one specifically is Escape Exclusion. That is a project, it's a long-term project about educational escape rooms uh, focusing on inclusion aspects. And the other project that I am involved is with uh, Fundación Explora. Uh, so we are more focused on participation. So what we are doing is a project on uh, participation through art. Uh, this is also a long term. In both of them, uh, what I'm doing is like helping coordination site of a Spanish part. And also uh, in one of them, I'm one of the facilitators for the project related to my experience with gamification and uh, escape rooms. I'm involved uh, as a leading partner and coordinator on two strategic partnerships. One is for innovation and one is uh, sharing best practice. Uh, I worked uh, parallelly also in other uh, strategic partnership, one for in, two for innovation, but uh, one is closed and one is still uh, in a, at the beginning of the process. Uh, yeah. So that's it. But two are coordinated by Joseph Torino, which is my organization. And uh, that's it. Well, the beginning of the project is always an idea. Uh, there needs to be an idea, but there need to be also needs from the entities and from the people that is involved in the end. So. I, I would say that the, the, everything starts with the curiosity to explore uh, new ideas, new concepts, new methods. And then somehow these ideas are helping you to discover what do you need. Then from these needs are coming the, the goals and the achievements for the project. And if it's about the guidelines, what, what guides me to find partners? It's always the, the people involved. Um, well, I, I would ask always what do they need and what do they want to achieve with the project and in which way uh, my entity can ensure that this will happen during the strategic partnership. So um, it's not that they need to be always like uh, people that you already know a lot. They can be newcomers. But it, it always starts with, with some kind of connection before the project. It can be in a small activity or, or some kind of working together because you are developing the, the same things. But I would say that the people and the reliable entities are really an important guide. Well, a bit from uh, previous experience together. So maybe, you know, during uh, other uh, projects or uh, workshops or whatever with some partners that are super close we came out with ideas but mostly with partners we grew up in processes so for example the two partner uh, partnership i work uh, with uh, the partnership has really developed on the base of a path that was built but also being sure to be involved maybe other organizations that were not fully already part of this uh, one process, I don't know how to mm -hmm. say it, but that, that could really contribute it in a way to the process and to reaching the objectives that we were seeking to to, to achieve. Uh, I would also say that uh, even in the diversity, we tend to cooperate with organizations which share the same values and the same principles related to the youth field and the quality of uh, the learning processes that a, pro a cooperation partnership should have. Uh, so in my experience, I think uh, a well productive and uh, reflected partnerships really support uh, the, um, the creation of things, but also the development of the partners himself and of the people that belong to the organizations. So this is not only a project that is done uh, to create something to deliver, but really a project that uh, uh, in, in ACE, 
the capacity building of the organizational part of the process. For me, it's fundamental. I also worked in other in which, uh, you know, the output, the deliverable was uh, the main focus, which I still is very important that, uh, uh, as a quality, as a meaning for the partnership, but also with, uh, you know, the perspective that this is something useful also for the full youth field. However, I think if it, there is not the focus on learning in the partnership, there is also sometimes um, losing the commitment, you know? I mean, when uh, partners are really into the learning process, really, really uh, into the contributions, then the quality, in my opinion, is higher because uh, the, the, the partnership feels to belong to something. Well, my way to approach, and I would wish that uh, the way of approaching for every entity is that the base is that everyone has something to learn and something to share. So in some stages of the project you will be more a learner and in some of them you will be the one sharing, but it needs to be clear that everyone needs to have these both sides, learning and sharing. And um, the idea is that we develop it from the beginning even from the ideas uh, and sharing before what, where do we imagine uh, going the next steps and including the, the, the stage when you need to write the project, when you need to make the application, I think this is also so important that you do it together among the partners because then if everything is shared then you create a lot of ownership from everyone and this is the, the way that when, when the project starts, everything can be shared with uh, transparency, with honesty, with a lot of respect, but also sharing this ownership of the project. It's not that you have invited people to your project or you have been invited to, it's that you have created something together. And then once a project is approved, if you are lucky and, and you get it approved, um, quite far of the way it's already worked. So the decisions can be made together and they can be shared because then there is equal responsibility and also the goals will be taken like you will get them all together. Okay, I think it's very, very important that before starting uh, uh, to write the application, the, uh, the most relevant part is that the idea is developed together uh, because what's happened most of the time is that maybe partners receive from other partners or some partners friends that maybe you know they think ah oh, maybe this can be interesting because you work on a specific topic and then you don't participate to the process of developing the idea to contributing to explain how you can uh, adapt and uh, which is the impact that this partnership can have on a local level and then the results is that uh, some organization you know are in partnership they don't want to say they do not any clue but really they also feel a bit uh, disconnected so I think it's important to take time even on distance to make I don't know zoom skype develop together maybe share some materials it would be very good to take some time to read uh, even if still for my opinion it's very important that you know uh, this uh, partnership this project stay in a bigger picture so of a an organization of a partnership that stays in the, the program but also outside the program and is focusing on what together is the change that wants to be seen in society because this really really facilitates to, to commit to develop something that is uh, uh, belong to everybody it's also a tip super we use it that for, for us works very good to not write together the form of the application but maybe share some part and ask to the partners to contribute directly. I think it's super valuable when there are specificities about what are happening in the specific country and what the specific partners can contribute with, but really going in detail. I'm not so good with advices, <laughs> but if I need to choose one, I would say invest in good partners. Um, try to make a network among people that share interest with you or things in common. Also, yeah, with people that likes to do the things in the way you like to do, that everything will go easy. And um, 
things to don't do well sometimes you know you you see these kind of entities that are making really every kind of project whatever is the topic about so they are experts in everything and, and actually this doesn't happen it doesn't exist so then that means that they just go in projects but they don't have so clear what do they want to achieve or, or what is the topic they want to talk and i think there are there are a lot of entities and NGOs and foundations that they're really willing to share methods and to get to know methods and they're really willing to to do equal partnership that means a, a lot so I would say invest in good partners and avoid everything that sounds like a project but it doesn't have anything to give you and that you don't also have anything to share there I think really this is fundamental because uh, it's shown the idea to create something but also to share a content, a value, a tools that it's useful but also specific somehow, so not some random stuff but they are really connected to the, 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 the social change that the organization are willing to see in uh, in the world no mm -hmm. uh, because it's not simply okay i know that the founding part is fundamental it's very relevant and for sure cooperation partnership has higher funds the other uh, um, action in the program however i think it's really really changed the quality of the processes if the partners are committed to values and uh, social change they're willing to see in the society and they really believe in it and also the possibility that actually the partnership is able, even on a small level, to contribute in something. Because maybe it doesn't exist, because maybe it's bringing a new perspective, uh, it's uh, having a specific uh, method sometimes. For us, for example, we work out on this idea of perspective to bring in you know, the South Mediterranean perspective uh, in the strategic partnership, because it's something that is not so common. It's super mm -hmm. relevant for us, for the organization I work with also for the local level. And we think it's really, really important because it uh, allowed us to reconsider also the idea of intercultural learning, uh, bringing really new perspective and new people involved, <laughs> human rights involved <laughs> also, uh, new, new, diverse way also to, to approach and live the youth work, which for us is super valuable <clears throat> because uh, uh, experimenting and uh, working in the youth field in Europe is very diverse than working in the partner countries because the, the, the conditions are diverse, because there are some differences and it's very, very enriching for the cooperation to mm -hmm. have such a diverse perspective because uh, it's really also do something that for me is very important, especially now that the, 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 the partnership are focused on cooperation. No, mm -hmm. so be, build the cooperation which are equal on a peer level where all partners, no matter what, no matter how, have something to contribute to the process, uh, something to support, something to say, something to share.